What's up everyone and welcome back to a new episode on the channel. Let's get in Zuba here because today we're gonna be checking out who is the best pet character in Zuba. And you may be asking, what are the pet characters? Well, they're the mini characters, the little guys, which we really need to talk about today. And I'll show you a few of them. And you have, first of all, you have Joey, Ripe, Jolly, I mean, Molly and Joey, I just combined the names, what was that? Uh, you have the little rats from Louie as well, you have Gigi and Tony as well, you know, the small characters, the mini ones. We gotta check out which are the top three best in Zuba, but first, let's collect some things because we also have something new here to check out, and it's really, really awesome. You can even get a legendary crate, which is really, really cool, so I'll show you. But now, let's get the gold crate, because this is also really, really good, and we just got some buddy tokens, why not? Emerald crate! Yeah, we love the Emerald Crate. We got Earl. Earl is actually a pretty solid character, if you ask me. He's actually pretty, pretty good. And also kind of annoying. And we just got him again. Why is that? I don't know. And I swear, if we get Earl again out of this... Okay, it was Max. Fine, fine. It's not that bad. Okay, okay. So, uh, nine days until the season ends, and we just have, uh, how many? 12 tiers until we get the Black Crate. We can surely do that. If you want to see a video on the Black Crate, Smash like and comment down below. Now we also have the Path of Paws, which I really want to talk about here. And you can get the legendary crate at the end. So you can collect all this because I just finished those quests without even really thinking about them. I didn't even know that he was here, but I just uh, found out apparently. So this is really nice. But uh, that's that's the Path of Paws right there. And now let's go to the characters and begin our list. So we're going to start off with number three. And on the number three spot, we have the one and only Gigi. Where's Tony? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Very cool. We also have this skin here. Fellas, by the way, tell me in the comment section down below, uh, which of these pet characters is your favorite? And if you'd actually want to have uh, one of these as your very, very own pet, and like the video as well, because that would actually help grow the channel a lot. That would help me a lot. So do that, because that would be awesome for the algorithm, you know? So let's begin with Gigi. Let's get it. All right, here we are. Where is... uh? Where's Gigi? There's Gigi. All right, so here's what she does. She damages players, first of all, but there's a big issue to that, and this is the reason why she's not number two or number one. Uh, the issue is she's incredibly slow, so being able to catch enemies is going to be really difficult, and that was so cool, by the way. That Betsy just got melted. I love this type of spear with all of these uh, different arrows and everything. It's crazy. It's amazing. So uh, Gigi, although she's very slow and doesn't really catch the opponents and actually hit them uh what she does is if you take damage she comes in and heals you as long as you kind of just move a little bit slower so she actually like gets to you because she's really slow but uh if you manage to do that and give her a bit of spare time and let her do her work she is very very awesome and it's like having a happy treat item but at all times because it kind of follows you look at this and now we get healed, and we shouldn't have done that at all. I thought that was another weapon, but instead we used a spear, and we got straight in that um, Skippy's face, and uh, he blew us up, so we don't like that. that. That doesn't happen. Easy. Too easy. That was horrible, by the way. <laughs> the Max just... Yeah, yeah, he dipped. Okay, fair enough. At least we showed uh, dominance. That's what we did. We just kind of pushed him around, I guess. All right, let's go search for some other enemies and see what they're doing. GG. You follow me? You ain't going nowhere, all right? Okay, look at that. We have our prey. It's not our prey. We're probably gonna die, actually. If you... If you think about it, we're probably gonna die. All right, so GG again. Doing some good, good healing. I love it. I love it. Look at that. It's such a nice friend to have around. The best friend in Zuba or the best animal companion. Best companion, pet, little person. I don't even know what they're called. Pets. The best pets in Zuba. I think I think that's what they're called. They're the pets. By the way, guys, what Zuba character would you want to have as a pet? Not the little one, right? Which is most suitable to have as a pet. But like actual Zuba character. If they were smaller, of course. Who would you want to have as a pet though? Probably not Iris, because she's a snake. Probably not Suzy either, because she's a bee. But there's probably other characters out there which you would like to have as pets. I personally would, uh, I was thinking about Bruce for a second, but that, 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 that doesn't work. You can't have a silverback gorilla, or, uh, he's actually like a, he's actually a white gorilla. Yeah. It's not, it's not a polar gorilla. What am I thinking about? It's, uh, it's something different. I completely forgot, but it's like, you have, you have the animal, right? You have the animal itself, and then you have another version of it, which is fully white, and it's like really, really rare. That's basically what Bruce is, all right? I completely forgot what that's called. You can comment down below and tell me. And, uh, that's... 
I thought that was a Nyx, but that's a Nyx. I wonder who that is. Those two are definitely teaming because they're not fighting each other. Or are they? That was so confusing. Anyways. Oh. That was a Skippy? I mean, I knew that was a Skippy. Like, yeah, that was a Skippy, but I don't. I didn't think it was a level 13 Skippy. Like, this guy's a whole other beast, as you can see. Oh, boy. We died way too quickly, man. But GG did her job. So we're all good. Now time for the number two spot, which goes to our lovely friend, Molly and Joey. Specifically, Joey. There he is. Look how cute he is. He's made out of fries. Let's go. Joey actually leaves his mark on the battlefield. He actually does something. And that's so surprising. He brings weapons towards you. I'm pretty sure. Right? He deals a bit of damage. And he's just being annoying, basically. Because it doesn't really deal much damage. And look at that. He's just fast. And he's cute looking, and that's that, That's all, that's all he does basically, he just picks up weapons for you, and he walks around, and it's kind of cool. Look at that, just, uh, fries, walking and talking fries, adorable, did Joey get the kill right there, did that just happen? No way that just happened, that's impossible, how could Joey get the kill? If Joey got the kill, then our purpose here is done, we could just die at this point, because yeah, we did, we did what we just needed to do all right so i know that there's a max right there we can basically catch anyone we want to because we're like ridiculously fast with molly i don't think she's the fastest in the game i think uh larry is the fastest however molly is really really fast anyways so uh why can't we use weapons oh no oh no i don't believe that why did we use a medkit for no reason come here yeah, he knew he could never escape, but that was difficult for some reason. I know Max dashes, but he doesn't dash as much as Nyx or something because the dash has a longer cooldown. And that's an enemy, Joey! No, we have to... We have to defend our Joey! Imagine we play this game, right? We do a little bit of challenge, and uh, the video ends if Joey dies. That'd be so funny. Like, protect Joey at all costs, right? And not let that happen, because that just happened. It Ah, your little Joey tried to take your little item, but he didn't manage to do it. Haha, -ha, you loser. Come here. There can only be one Joey. Exactly. Joey, don't get to play with the other kids, unfortunately. You're just gonna have to. Uh, you're gonna have to accept your fate as the one and only Joey. Alright. You're gonna be a lonely, a lonely king. Alright. No! That was. You were so close to dying! We can't let Joey perish! That's impossible! Oh man. Oh my god, this guy's just giving me a heart attack, man. This 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 match is gonna end in a heart attack, so you're not gonna see me ever again. This is gonna be bad. Alright, so uh What's going on here? Alright, there's no one here. Fair enough. Joey, just come here. I'm pretty sure that if we have the doctor's coat, we could revive him, you know. Heal him up a little bit, but uh, we don't have that. <laughs> there's no reason to, actually, because I, truth of the matter is, I'm just messing around right now. Joey isn't the best of the best, all right? And you wouldn't want to specifically keep him around and heal him up. That's not the point, okay? Then there's no strategical reason as to why you would do that, apart from just... If you just like how he looks and acts and everything, then fine, you do you. However, he doesn't really bring that much of a change to the battle, does he? But he's still better than Gigi. Why? Because he's he is. He just is. Alright, why can't Molly jump over things? You tell me that, though. Wildlife. If you're watching this, just know that I will invade your headquarters. If you don't, um... Uh, comment down below. I forgot. Just comment down below. Alright. It, it helps the algorithm anyway, so just do it. EASY! Okay, Baku is actually a pretty powerful threat. So we're gonna try to defeat him. Too easy. Oh my god, we almost died and... Ain't no way. Nah, he revived. How? And, and more specifically, why? Like, why? Why would you have that item? That's such a newbie item. Oh, you died! <laughs> you died. And but now you're back just because of that newbie special item. Alright, so that was, uh, that was Molly for you. Very, very solid character. And uh, Joey, even more solid because Joey never dies. And uh, look at that. They're pugging and everything. 
and it's awesome. So now it's time for the number one, all right? These two, Joey and Gigi, they don't really deal all that much damage. Okay, Joey deals some damage, but not that much. However, the number one spot goes to the one and only Louis, and let's look where Louis is. Louis is right here. Let's also use, uh, what skin? Let's go for the Hocus Pocus Louis, because it's OG. So we're gonna play this, and, uh, Louis, you see, the rats actually deal significant damage. It's crazy. So let's go. So that's why I consider these guys to actually be number one. Like, they actually deal some damage. Look at that! See that? That's damage. Okay, the dude's level six. I mean, it makes sense, but that's damage. Like, you see that? That's actual damage they, uh, they did. So, you know, these rats... And by the way, I forgot to mention this. It's not just about the damage, it's about the so-called rat shield. And that's how I like to call it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then I'll explain exactly what it is. So you have the rats around you, and they absorb hits like that. Like that. See that? That's very, very awesome. But no rats died, so I don't actually think they absorbed any like, hits or anything. However, uh, here's the thing. An enemy tries to hit you with a sniper weapon. Like, uh, you know, a spear or something like that. And then the rats take the hit and not you. So you're harder to hit with weapons that only have like one, one shot, one ammo. It's really, really annoying for the enemy, but it's awesome for the Louie, and we're playing Louie, so it's awesome for us. Apart from that, the rats don't do much. They don't heal you, they just exist, and they're also kind of quick, you know, they're, they're kind of swift. Not Taylor Swift, they're just swift. Easy. <laughs> okay, okay. You're gonna have to use your weapons, though. You can't just use the rats, or actually, who am I fooling? You can use the rats. Like, they're a solid source of damage. Why wouldn't you? And they're fast, like they're actually fast. Look at them catching the, the, the guy, he was so terrified. All right, let's go for the Larry though, because I know there's one around here somewhere. And we gotta look for him. Where is he? There you go. All right, rats, you go get him. That's just his active ability, he just commands the rats. That's what he does. That's what Tony also does, you know, same thing. Same thing, I'm a jig, but uh, this time the rats actually deal some damage. So commanding them around, you know, bossing them around will actually do something because they will catch an enemy or two. Now, where are you, though? Yeah. Come on, rats! Get him! He's wasting his time just defeating the rats! Oh my goodness, it's like having your very own army. It's so funny. Alright, come on. We're gonna have to use the happy treats for our very own good right now because I'm not feeling so well about this. Or, I love how the rats just hang out around you like that. I love that. Because you have the perfect rat shield. They're perfectly placed so that you don't take damage from like sniper weapons it's so good it's so awesome louis when did he even release i'm pretty sure he was released in an update like a, a lunar new year update basically i'm pretty sure that's what happened like a chinese new year something like that and then he was announced or released something along those lines and we did a video on it like three years ago that was very funny that was very awesome was that 2020 or something like that basically he was i'm pretty sure the first character that was ever released like after the game, after we started actually playing the game and it's very like early stages, I'm pretty sure it was Buck and then like Louie or maybe someone else, you know. What I'm trying to say is that Louie was one of the first characters to be released after the original little uh, gang. Like Nyx and Fuzzy and everything. Like those guys are OG, but this guy isn't, right? But Larry's, Larry's OG as well. You know, the thing about Larry is, right, I'm pretty sure while I saw what Brawl Stars were doing with Leon and how he was legendary, Right? And then they made Larry a very common character. <laughs> and it's a t What am I even saying? They made Larry very common and he could also go invisible. So it's like an alternative to playing Leon, but you wouldn't have to grind out the game for years in order to actually get him. Because back then legendaries were hard to get, you know? And you could just easily go invisible in this game. Like I'm pretty sure that's why they released Leon as a character. But going invisible is pretty pretty funny though, indeed. So we got the W right there. And of course we did, because the rats are amazing. So fellas, smash like, subscribe, comment down below whatever you want. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.